Suffers something as a completely. What do you mean name? They're owned by Google. It is a it is a like family friendly oriented. Yeah, family work. friendly. Yeah. My, are you recording? Good luck with that. Uh, yes. Right now. <laughs> remember your YouTube kids. No one wants to remember that. Remember YouTube heroes. Oh yeah, I was gonna oh say something. I was gonna say something. Here with Markiplier, he's a professional gamer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's not a professional gamer! <laughs> no, not really. He's an entertainer, but he's not a professional gamer! He's not a freaking MLG Elite 4 whatever. Elite 4. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, I think that's actually an MLG name called Elite 4, and they play like... Oh, yeah. I uh, think I've heard of them. They, they play like, I think, uh, League of Legends. League of Legends. There's five of them, so one of them's quote-unquote the champion, and then there's the Elite 4 that are underneath them. Yeah, but hear me out. I, I'm an MLG now, and my, my team name No, is, you're not. Uh, <laughs> get smoked. Uh, <laughs> that is the fun police. <laughs> I was gonna make like a terrible joke of, of, of revolving around someone, but then I'm like, nah. No, see, I'm MLG and Maple Story. <laughs> A riddle was like, <laughs> I don't even remember how it goes, but three of the riddles only revolved around one person. It pretty much just highlights all of all the stupid things that happened in 2018 because of Logan Paul. Anyway, yeah, going to that suicide forest, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I think. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. The, riddle, the riddle was like, the riddle was like, okay, I'm flogging through the woods, expecting someone to die, and his other one, and the last line was. I'm behaving or no. Cool story, bro. It was like something like <laughs> Is I, this loss? No, but that was actually one of the riddles. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the riddles was loss. <laughs> and he, and she, he literally tried to have one of his friends draw loss. <laughs> Just like he was trying to explain like where the lines need to go and stuff, but he did but she ended up screwing it up anyway because <laughs> there was three lines on top. One was the sideways one. Oh my god. And then the other one was just two at the bottom. <laughs> you know, there's so much stuff that was in Laws, like you can't really ask someone to draw it. <laughs> one, two, two, fifty. That's all you need to know. <laughs> like you could draw like the bunker and then a computer screen with numbers, like a little bunker lid. But then, you know, you also have to play in the fact that there's a fucking smoke monster. <laughs> there's also like people who go crazy apparently. That live in the forest, and then there's also people who live on the in the forest who are like in charge of the machine that whatever warps time and space. Are we still talking about lost? Yes, this is lost. I'm serious. Oh, lost. Yeah. I said lost. Oh. Yeah. Same. Thing. No, it's not at all. Same thing. One is a TV show, the other one has a miscarriage. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Same thing! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Welcome back to Phoenix, right? <laughs> oh, man. S Sweetie! <laughs> you have to believe me. I didn't go anywhere near that crime scene. So, where were you when the murder took place? At the hospital. We talked about it yesterday, remember? I was in the ringmaster's room. And while you were there, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? Exactly. He told me t to wait in the room because the war because he would <laughs> be right back. Ooh, that's when the <laughs> ringmaster headed to the s to the scene of the crime, right? That's what it seems like. Yeah. But the ringmaster must have been wearing Max's costume, right? Oh, oh, sweetie, I just remembered. <laughs> I went straight to the ringmaster's room, s still dressed in my stage clothes. But when I got there, I went ahead and took the costume off. Well, that would have been important to know. Which means... It means that the ringmaster could have taken his costume and went out looking like La like Max. <laughs> did they find him with his... Yeah, they did. Oh. Fabulous! Actually, wait. Exactly. Actually, no, they didn't because of the crime. They photo. found the hat, but they didn't like. It's not. Oh, he's no, not no. wearing anything of his, is he? Uh, I don't think so. No, no, he's not because in the crime photo he wasn't wearing the cloak. Exactly. Why would he? Why would they say that then? Uh, Fabulous. That's fabulously posi uh, possible possibility. Ah, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> fabulously possible well done, possibility. Nick. 
However, sweetie, why would the ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? So he can marry his own daughter. Mm. Get all the money. Own the ring a second time. <laughs> oh, man. Then he'd be double rich or something. We've gone down this path way too long, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Ever Your since path. the first fucking episode. <laughs> If you think about it, all they found at the crime scene was my silk hat. What about my cloak? Where did that go? It got eaten by a Gru. Double. Wow, Max, I never thought of that. You should be a detective or something. Oh, this is funny. Well, I never. Uh, well, I was never quite sure what to be when I grew up: magician or president. Why not both? That'd be awesome. <laughs> a magician president. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Alakazam, we're throwing nukes at you. <laughs> <laughs> I will send nukes at our man. <laughs> Think about it. There's like I don't know. Fucking, we raise Houdini from the dead, and he's just like, oh, hello, Kim Jong Un, and then he grabs his hand and pulls it out. He's like, ha ha. It's like he's holding a fake hand or whatever. It offends him so much he does launch nukes at us. It's perfect. But then, see, no, he puts a cloak over the nukes and they disappear. Oh, no, Kozo. Why can't we have an Alakazam as president? Because that'd be illegal and then he had too many spoons. Oh, come on, as president. <laughs> it's better with someone who would have spoons and not a fork. Two million IQ. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather have a president that's smart than... I should not say anything. All right. <laughs> you have no idea how hard it was to make a decision. <laughs> that's really cool. Fabulous. My mystery just keeps getting deeper. This mystery. Oh, this mystery. Yeah, my mis no, it's my mystery. Don't worry about it. <laughs> my mystery. This mystery keeps getting deeper. Deeper. Deeper? <laughs> December. I heard my freaking... 20 Covering my... Or my hand covering my mouth. Oh, yeah. Did they say five minute recess? No. Actually, yeah. Or That's five not or five minutes, I don't think. You're not five minutes. You're five or ten. But. Oh. Uh, ah! Now no, no, that everything is back, let's st get started. The court is now back in session. Miss Von Karma, please proceed with the prosecution's case. Very well. I will now call my next witness. Hobo Wizard. A pitiful clown, <laughs> close, <laughs> with the unfortunate distinction of having seen the entire thing. Of course, because he's probably the one who did it. It's me, <laughs> the clown. Will Mr. Lawyer, uh, Lawrence, yes, Mr. Lawyer, <laughs> will, will Mr. Lawrence Curls please take the stand? It's like he's the witness. Is Mo, <laughs> is Mo really abbreviation for Lawrence? Uh, I think that's just his, like, clown name or something. I think that's his full name. Mo might just be, uh, Mo the Clown. Yeah. That's his title and title. Why did he, she just <laughs> call him a pitiful clown? He's a pitfall clown. I don't understand his thing with carrots. Is that just, like, a Japanese thing, or? No, it's a you eat carrots thing. Get mean, but how idiot. is it funny? Shut up. How is it funny? <laughs> how are you funny? Got him. Uh, <laughs> how are we friends? The witness will say I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I hate you too. <laughs> no. The witness will state his name and occupation for the court record. <laughs> <laughs> Name and occupation. <laughs> Will the witness please inform the court why is he speaking uh, about a autobiographic autobiographic? I can't even read. Autobiographic call gibberish. Autobiographical gibberish. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just not used to being in court. I've never been in a courtroom in my life. I wasn't quite sure what joke is best suited for this occasion. What in the world are you talking about? You're in a grand hall of justice, not some comedy club. Since it's easy for you to see your occupation, please state your name for the court. Oh, yeah, maybe this joke is okay. Von, do I have to wear pants? The sign only says no shirt, no shoes, no service. 
<laughs> okay, okay, how about this? Have you met my proctologist, Dr. Seymour Butts? How's that one? <laughs> Put a couple of glasses on your face! Your name. <laughs> Lawrence Curls, professional funny man, also known as Mo the Clown. <laughs> I would have died if you said Markiplier. <laughs> what <Boy>, Markiplier? <laughs> My name is Vincent B. Sauce. Oh no. <laughs> Vinny. Vinny, why? <laughs> <laughs> Vincent V sauce here, and today we're gonna learn how to put a freaking sauce on your spagoodles. <laughs> God oh. damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you witness the scene at around. Wait, what? You oh, you witnessed the scene at around ten fifteen p.m. the day of the murder. <laughs> Correct. Yes. Oh, yes, it is. Very well, Mr. Curls. Will you please testify to what you saw that evening? A Ravi! A Ravi! A Ravi! A Ravi! A Ravi! A humor, please. I thought I was going to say rabbit. Yeah. Ray Ben Ravi. Okay. I was like, I saw a rabbi, a priest, and I was like, oh crap, it's a rabbi! <laughs> 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 uh, oh my. Ah. Poor Matt, Mo. <laughs> well, I almost wanted to say Maggie for some reason. Maggie! It was in, I thought you almost said Matt. No, I was about to say Maggie. Maggie from the Flintsteins. <laughs> poor Mo can't be... Poor Mo can't be his normal stoogy self in court. <laughs> Maggie from the Flintsteins? Yeah. <laughs> you mean The Simpsons? No. What? Maggie what? from the Flintsteins. Don't you remember when they showed up in, like, Futurama Land? Oh, yeah. I think. I don't remember that crossover. And then Bart Sampson said, eat oh, pant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were making fun of him. Yep. Yeah. Okay, what you witnessed, but they're actually like... <laughs> I know, I know. I'm not the greatest comedian in the world. <laughs> He's off on a tangent. I haven't been able to make people laugh for ten years. No matter what I say, all I get in return is a fake and stare and polite applause. And since no one even ever laughs at my jokes, I've taken to laughing at them myself. It's a bad habit, but hey, at least I'm trying. Imagine my predicament. I'm a clown who can't make people laugh. I'm almost useless. Well, comedians aren't supposed but to I laugh. I keep trying. Jokes. I even tried to come up with jokes just for today. But this atmosphere is very nerve-wracking. I decided to try and make everyone laugh. Seriously, everyone, what do you think of me? How am I doing? Testimony, now uh, cross-examine it. <laughs> I know, right? Um, aren't we the ones supposed to be asking the questions here? Fitness. <laughs> huh? V will, or er, we will listen to your call for help after the court proceedings are over. <laughs> Thus, please stick with the facts of this case. Clown with depression. Really? You'll you really hear me out? Well, I'll make sure that one of my staff will be your straight man later. Thank you, thank you, I can't wait! Is it gumshoe? <laughs> yeah, what if it was? Oh my god, it is gumshoe! <laughs> I am a god! <laughs> No, I even need to say anything there. I think Gumshoe would be a better comedian. <laughs> uh huh. He's like, here's a little child. I'm gonna hand her a gun. <laughs> here's a gun. <laughs> Whoa, thanks, Mister. <laughs> Bang! Oh God, he's dead. <laughs> I shot a man. <laughs> gun safety is <laughs> is very very. Remember, um, kids, when you have a gun, be sure to turn the safety off because you don't need safety where we're going. Cool kids ride with their bike helmets off. Uh, gun safety is a is a uh, main concern. That that now that's now that that's been settled. Shall we begin once again with the testimony? Be sure to do all of the dank drugs. Of course we can. I'll talk for as long as you want. Oh, by the way, oh wait, it's after this. Never mind. I saw a gun. I got a gun. 
That night of the murder after practice is over, I went straight back to my room. To play Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Do you think this guy would play Shadow the Hedgehog? He looks like more like a Sonic 06 type of dude. Nah. You have no dude, idea how tired I was. Dude, that no, he looks like a Sonic Generations fan. What are you talking about? Dude, look at I him. I was pooped. Wasn't there one? Wasn't there a Sonic guy that had to do with carrots? No. Uh, yeah, there was one. Uh, you, you freaking freaks! When will you learn? When will you learn? Your actions have got you straight to jail. I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window. I feel like I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away, though. Bugs Bunny. It was the ringmaster, and he was with Max, who was wearing his cloak. Yes, yeah, the best Mo um, Mobian, Bugs Bunny. <laughs> yeah. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clocked the ringmaster over the head with a gun! <laughs> okay. That's very interesting. If this eyewitness's account is to be believed, I have enough to pass judgment right now. What? <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> of course you can. There is no way that this account can be criticized. I mean, he could just say, no, you weren't there. Oh, no. the witness is a bit, how do you say, off-kilter? Off kilter. Yeah. Almost like he has some sort of atmosphere of guilt surrounding him. Hey, look at that face. <laughs> That's because of my insincere smile. Mr. Wright, please begin the defense's cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. Nick, you gotta find some kind of contradiction in his testimony. I know that. Mr. Wright. Your Honor? I'm afraid that if you push this witness too far, it would bring disaster upon the courtroom. Thus, I sincerely hope you're not going to engage in pointless saber rattling. I understand, Your Honor. Did you just ask if we wouldn't sword fight him? <laughs> I'll take you on, right now. If you <laughs> cause this clown to stray from the facts, I'll hold you responsible. Why am I responsible? I'm not the one with the corny jokes. I don't understand this whole thing. Quick, the press everything. Yeah, I think that's what they don't want us doing. <laughs> Quick, press everything! <laughs> uh, Straight back to my room for what? You have no idea how tired I was pooped. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing I saw. I was pooped. <laughs> I thought I got straight to my sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window. I guess you could press on that, because what makes him lock While he was the window? <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's kind of an important thing that we didn't get to talk about with Mo. You just happened to glance out the window? Wait, did some of this... None of the rooms had windows. Except for, like, the lunch room. He did, he had though. one window. He had a window. He did? Yeah. Is this room? You can oh. say that. You really... You can also say I peek, stared, glimpse, peep, eyeball. Mr. Curls. Oh, I guess synonymous. Synonyms aren't a lot either. What should I do? I wonder if I should press him further on this issue. Keep pressing. Press harder. Ex exactly why did you look out your window... Out of your window that night? Why? Why? Clowns don't need a reason to look out their windows, do they? That's not what I meant. Or, that's not what I meant. I meant that, well, when we spoke yesterday... Once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump! <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about that! <laughs> you forgot? <laughs> Your Honor, the witness looked out his window upon hearing a loud sound. He did not just simply glance out of his window that night. Oh yeah, that's right! I forgot to mention that thumb, didn't I? <laughs> that's not something you just forget to mention. Um, yeah, what she said. <laughs> I believe it would be best if, if Mo were to revise his testimony. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Very well. Mr. Curls, please revise your testimony. Do we have to press on that now? This should start turning the tables in our press favor. Press on the judge. Oh, yeah. Press, press judge. Press all of the judge buttons. I heard a huge noise. Oh. What? Oh. Uh, it's a new line, so. I heard a huge noise outside the window, and that made me take a look outside. <laughs> Present gun. What kind what of noise? What does it sound like? <laughs> Well, I guess it kind of sounded like... Mm, I guess you could say... Okay. Mr. Curls, may the court remind you that humor is unnecessary. No! Oh, you know, I was gonna make a joke! <laughs> I guess the sound sounded like a... 
That's sort what of it sounded like someone getting hit with something very hard. Well, that's what it sounded like, honestly. Oh. Wait, was he killed by a blunt object or was he shot? No, he was killed by a, yeah, a blunt object. He oh. was stabbed with an invisible spear. We just don't know what <laughs> it is. <laughs> like, we, we literally don't know what the murder weapon is yet. Watch it be an icicle. Someone getting hit, huh? But then, you went to look out the window and you saw... Yeah. Oh. That's when I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away, though. Okay, I should press on that. Far away, you say? If you had to say exactly how far away were they? Oh my god. That far enough! Fucking rhymed. Let me think about that for a second. My room is here. And they looked about yay big. I'd say they were about 30 feet from my window. 30 feet? Yeah. More like 70. That's not that far. Just 30 feet. That's not far at all. Yeah. It was snowing that night, and it cut down on visibility. I see. Please continue with your testimony regarding the two shadows that you saw. Objection. They were dead. Yes. Yeah, it was the ringmaster. Yeah, it was the ringmaster. He was back. He was wearing the cloak. His cloak. Excuse me? Who was wearing his cloak? Oh, yeah. Uh, Who was wearing his cloak? Your mom? It was the ringmaster, and he was with Max. Who was wearing his cloak? Cloak. So he's saying Max was wearing his cloak? Yeah, mm -hmm. punch him. But... I don't... That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm gonna... <gasps> I, th I think that might be bad English, but... Yeah. Like, I don't think you needed to put a comma there. Well, yeah, Is he saying no, he Max is wearing the cloak? Yeah, yeah. he's saying Max is wearing the cloak. why would you say that? You know what I mean? Cause That's true, yeah. If you just recognize, oh, it's Max, you would say it was Max. If you said who was wearing the... You know what I mean? The, the, if you say cloak, like, who was wearing the cloak? It's just a word of, you know... It's just but he gave words. away that Max couldn't have been had that because remember he said he took off his cloak. I don't know. You say you clearly saw this even though you were... By your own admission, far away. Don't you remember Max literally said before this thing started that it, he didn't have his cloak? Yeah, I, yeah. That's right, I've been thinking about it over and over since that night. But things didn't really make sense until I spoke with the prosecutor, Miss Von Karma. But now I'm 100% certain that it was Max and the ringmaster I saw that night. Just think about it, how could I be wrong if Max is always wearing his uppity symbols? Oh boy. Uppity symbols. Lawyers nowadays, do you even have to go to school anymore to be one? <laughs> All right, everyone knows it too. All together now, say it with Uncle Mo. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> so shut the fuck up. <laughs> See what I mean? It's always like this. The crowd never wants to go along with me because it's a fucking courtroom. Really mean, utterly and completely worthless as a club. You say that, dude. But don't you remember the ventriloquist? Yeah, I was gonna say they love the ventriloquist. <laughs> Ventriloquist, ventriloquist. <laughs> we are both ventriloquist, ventriloquist. <laughs> I want to watch Kung Pao. Dad. Do we practice to Oh my day? god. <laughs> That's a long time since we made a reference of that. I swing a bit more. We made this like literally <laughs> when the ventriloquist showed up. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it's it's only been a year. <laughs> it's the chosen one outside What's the that? wall. The wall. Um, Your tricks don't fool me, ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> Did you already read this? Because I wasn't paying No, he didn't. I must be utterly and completely worthless as a clown. <laughs> yes! Enough foolishness. Get back on track. Okay, I really hope that didn't... Okay, will the witness please justify as to what he saw and only what he saw? <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> that didn't hold me accountable. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Matt clunked the ringmaster over the head. Okay. <laughs> it was the, it was the Burger King mascot. <laughs> we need to play that game. Oh. <laughs> Where we give burgers to people. Yeah. <laughs> you I'd rather play Pepsi Man. Pepsi Man, more <laughs> like Pepsi Lamb. Pepsi Man is the hero we deserve. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, I feel I'd rather like play the... Coke Lad. 